Hello everyone and welcome back to the World Explorer podcast. This is the podcast where every week we take a random prompt and build an entire world around it. My name is Casey and I'm joined with Isaac. Hello! So, today we are world building. Get this. We are world building an escalator. You mean like the the automatic stairs? Yes. And this escalator, it's populated by spoons. And these spoons, they are jerks, let me tell you. These these spoons, when they get to the top of the escalator, on this very crowded escalator, they start walking slowly. And you know what happens when you start walking slowly at the top of an escalator? The top of the escalator crowds up and then you all bunch together and no one can move forward because there's nowhere to go and you start tumbling down. I'm not sure you know how escalators work. They're automatic stairs. You don't have to move. Well, you have to move move at the top. Well, at the top. Oh, you mean like to... Yeah, once they get to the top, they start walking slower than the escalator can move. And so they start bunching up and they crowd and they start tumbling down. What? No, the escalator pushes them off. I'm confused. And when, when you get to the top, the escalator keeps going even if you don't, which means that you trip and fall over if you sit at the top. So all the spoons are doing is getting kicked off aggressively by the always moving escalator. No, 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 no. What's happening is when they get to the top, uh, they step off of the escalator, and, but then they okay. don't get out of the way for the person coming up behind them. Ah, uh, see, that makes more sense. I was just envisioning a bunch of spoons just refusing to get off the escalator and like hopping <laughs> no, 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 they're, steps or something they're getting, and crowing people off. They want to get off the escalator but they, they're they struggling yeah. because the person who got off before them isn't moving forward fast enough and so they all bunch up at the top and then they start pushing the people behind them down the escalator which causes a domino effect of pain. I thought they were spoons. Well, The, the, the spoons are people too. That's No, the spoons are just spoons. No. Spoons are people they could too. They sentient spoons. And that no, makes them they people too. Spoons, but they are not people. No, sentience is not what makes you a person. It's what makes you living, but it's not what makes you a person. I'm sorry, but my sentience, your sentient dog is not a person. Uh, the spoons have personality. That makes them persons. Are you saying your dog doesn't have a personality? Wow, what a great dog owner you do. My dog be. is a person. Your dog is not a person. <laughs> my dog is a person. And neither spoons. <laughs> No, I disagree. Where does the word personality come from? I honestly don't know, but I can look into it if you like. I am going to guess it is because it comes from the word person being an individual. And it is, so you have uh, your individual personality. Yes. Logic makes sense. These spoons are people too. That's not how logic works. It still doesn't make sense, but I'm over it. I don't understand why... How is this escalator a world? Um, so, this escalator, it's just one part of this grand world of escalators. It's like a giant skyscraper building filled with escalators. And this is what we call, uh, the, the prime escalator. This is the escalator that will bring you from the bottom of the building all the way to the top. This is a very oddly shaped building, by the way, uh, to get this escalator to go that Uh, tall. Anyway. Is it a steep escalator then? Like, is it more of a, it just goes kind of up, but with a slight angle so people can stand, or spoons can stand on the stairs, and then it just goes Oh no, this is a normal uh, escalator. It's just very, very big. Does it wrap around? Does it have, like, turns? No, the uh, the building is just sort of built diagonally. I mean, it doesn't have to be built diagonally for that to work. Is it just, is it a short building, or is it just a really wide, tall building? Is it a square building? Uh, no, it's, it's a, I don't know how to describe it. It's, um, imagine you took a skyscraper <laughs> and you tilted it yeah. uh, about 45 degrees on it's oh. side yeah there you go are they walking on walls i guess they're spoons they can do that spoon what kind of spoons are you eating with that can walk on walls 
Well, if the walls are magnetic. I I was thinking concrete, but you know what? Sure, the walls are magnetic now. <laughs> are spoons magnetized? I'm just trying to make it make sense. They can be. Some are. Some aren't. It depends what they're made of. Okay. Uh. Anyway, so uh, that makes uh, part of the world that I was going to build very difficult now. Because each, oh, what's that? each spoon who lives in this uh, world has a pet anvil. Yeah, uh, anvils can be can can stick to the seal to the walls too. Yes, but I'm thinking. Or are they tiny anvils? They could be little baby anvils. They don't have to be giant ones. You mean anvil puppies? Sure. <laughs> we we're gonna have anvil puppies. You, if you like. We can have anvil puppies. Yes, okay. So, we have anvil puppies. We have uh, your baby <laughs> anvils, but then we've got your full-size anvils, which uh, don't like mm. to move because they are very heavy, and now they stick to the floors and the walls because they're magnetized now. Uh, but anyway, so... I so does this mean, like, anvils grow? Yes. Oh. How's that work? Uh... Well, they eat food. Like iron? No, like pool inflatables. Sure. How do they turn pool inflatables into like iron for themselves? Uh, well, you see, when you look on the periodic table, you will notice iron is sitting there, and right next to iron is the, uh, the element, um, with the letter code number thingy. P-I, or a pie, uh, which, rep which stands for pool inflatable. And it, since it's so closely related to the anvil on the periodic table, uh, because anvils are made of iron, you can, uh, the, uh, these um, anvils can ingest the pool inflatable and convert it into its next uh, molecular structural integrity system known as iron. Not sure how that works, but sure. Uh, pool inflatables are just closely related to the material that makes up anvils. And so it doesn't take much for them to convert. You just suggested that like pool noodles are like their own separate molecule structure no, 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 no. made out of something, say, like styrofoam. Or no, plastic. that would be insane. It was on the periodic table. That would be insane if pool noodles were their own uh, molecular structure or whatever. No, no, pool, uh, pool noodles... Are not what we're talking about. We're talking about pool inflatables. Pool Sorry. Well, either no, way. No, pool noodles are the other inhabitants of this world, but just... we'll get to those. But aren't just pool inflatables made out of, like, plastic? Um, no, they are made out and of pie. Or, like, other things? They're made out of pie that is baked by the Grand Witch of... Gingerbreadia. So there's another place outside of this uh, tilted Empire State Building. It is resting on top of this tilted Empire State Building. That is where Gingerbreadia and how does that work? lives. So the witch is the mother of all spoons. Uh, she created the spoons so that she had something to eat her pies with. And uh, then she accidentally brought them to life and she didn't want them so she disowned her children dumped them down into the building and so now that's where they live along with the pool noodles who are also her children wait wait, wait. i thought the pool inflatables were just food for the anvils yes the pool inflatables are food for the anvils but the pool noodles are the other residents of this building it's a, a building full of spoons pool noodles and anvils. yeah now you're getting it it's a really weird image. <laughs> anyway, anyway, so so the pool noodles are the source of the anvil, or partially the source of the anvils in this world. But I thought that they were just you know breeding themselves. No, 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 no. You can't breed uh, two anvils and get another anvil, silly. Uh, that's how you get a light bulb. So they're producing light bulbs. Are the light bulbs also sentient? Now that would be stupid. The light bulbs, our light bulbs aren't sentient. Well, that's good. I'm glad they can still use light bulbs properly. Anyway, so uh, you bring two anvils together, you get a light bulb. The way you get 
An anvil is you have to breed a pool noodle and a spoon together. Sadly, I think that's the, like the thing that's made the most sense to me this entire this entire world so far. Yeah, because the, you see the elemental structure and the molecular structure of the pool noodle is not enough to create an anvil and neither is a spoon. But if you combine them, then you can create an anvil. They're all very closely related on the periodic table. Meanwhile, the uh, the light bulb is clear on the other so side. Wait, 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 wait. So spoon, spoons treat their children as pets? Don't think about it too much. <laughs> 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 I'm thinking about it. I'm, also, you just said the light bulbs were clear on the other <laughs> side, and yet two anvils can produce a light bulb, even though they're on the clear other side. How does so that you see, work? This is using something called negative molecules, where when you, you, you uh, combine <laughs> two of the same molecular structure uh, creatures breeding together to create one other thing, it you, you can't have two of the same uh, things breeding together to make a the same thing. Instead, it's going to have to create something completely on the opposite so end of the spectrum. So, um, you have to have, like, two opposites, essentially, to make something. You can't have two negatives or two positives or whatever. No, you need, like, you need, like, a spoon, and you need, um, a pool noodle. That creates the anvil, but two anvils will create a light bulb. Yes. You know, you're making this really tempting, Isaac, just to turn this into, like, one of those phone apps where you, like, match two things together and something <laughs> new appears. And I kind of just want to sit here and just start asking you what happens if you mix, like, an anvil and a spoon. Or Incest. two pool noodles together. Or Inbred. two spoons together. Incest. Well, yeah. You're like, not wrong. But, but, well, actually, that's not true. Like, if you have a bunch of spoons and then this spoon and pool noodle have an anvil and then this... A uh, different spoon and pool noodle have an anvil, and then say that spoon who had that one anvil actually wants to come over here and have and go at it with <laughs> this anvil. What would they produce? That's not. Uh, okay, so if a spoon and an anvil were to get together, that yes. would be an abomination because who the heck would get with someone else's pet? <laughs> Look, the world's a weird place. Uh, people are getting married to their dogs, like. I mean, they weren't, but I guess they so are now. why not in this world? Why not? I'm curious. Well, clearly they can all produce together, so you've opened that door. I'm going to okay, ask Okay, so, uh, in theory, mm -hmm. if a spoon... If the father was to have a kid with someone else's pet, what would happen? Uh, well, first there would be a lawsuit filed... First and foremost. <laughs> um, yeah, I could care less about that. But then after that, it would create wet toilet paper. Why wet? Because wet toilet paper is about the worst thing you could possibly use. It falls apart. Is it sentient? It, no? it falls apart in your hand when you try to use it, if you were going to go and use it. And it would be the worst experience ever. I have not used wet toilet paper, so. but I'm sure it would be awful. Wait. So you're saying the spoons and the anvils and stuff, they all have to use the restroom? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Just so they can... Uh, so... Is there any way to get normal toilet paper, or do they have to do this breeding just to get some <laughs> bad stuff that they could use? No, there's no, there are no Genuine trees, question. so there's no <laughs> other method of getting toilet paper. I mean, if they really wanted to, I suppose they could set it out to dry. So you're saying that this is what they have to use to be able to have a pleasant experience at their restroom is to breed with breed their with their anvils. That's also their children. Who are their children. To create wet toilet paper, which like is dogs. dead upon arrival, uh, so it's not alive. So wait, you're suggesting <laughs> that it was alive, like, inside the anvil as it was being developed, and then it comes out and dies? <laughs> well, it dies before it comes out. So, like, it's it's a miscarriage. But you're saying that for a short... They're all... <laughs> Isaac! What?! <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> I suggested a terrible thing, but you're making it so much worse. You sent me down this path. 
And then, so now you're saying, okay, let me get this straight. This is what you're saying. You're saying that <laughs> this this uh, <laughs> the spoon ha- can have a kid that will turn into an anvil, and then it can, it can, which they will then treat as a pet instead of their child. They then can have a kid with the anvil, which then will die before it's even born, meaning that it's always a miscarriage, which will be this toilet paper that they then have to lay out to dry and then proceed to use because it is the only way they can have a comfortable experience. <laughs> this. Yes. That is exactly what's happening. You came here. up with this one. You helped. You, you created helped. this. <laughs> no, I ask. I ask questions. You're the one who made the statement. And that was where you helped. I take no responsibility. You claim half the credit <laughs> for this world. <laughs> no, I will. I I don't want to claim the miscarried <laughs> toilet paper. I feel that's a very insensitive thing to for you to have created. <laughs> you helped. I. So let's helped. talk more about this witch on top of the uh, the building. So yeah. after after she yeah. threw all the pool noodles and the uh, spoons down into the building to do their thing, she started um uh, she started her own uh, bakery business where all of the other witches from around the globe come to buy her baked goods and bring them to their buildings. They have buildings? Are they also tilted, magnetized, and full of spoons? Oh no, this was just uh, for this witch. All these other witches, they have their own things. They've got, um, like, one's got a, a, uh, an upside down mansion filled with llamas. I mean, I guess that's better than the spoon. Yeah, the, the, you fa- this uh, spoon one is about the most horrendous out of all of them, N- except for the. It's yeah. Except I'd for imagine. the one with the uh, the dragons playing heavy metal all day. I think I would rather take dragons playing heavy metal over the spoon world. Yeah, I mean, I think that's fair. Given sometimes they will uh, come over to terrorize the spoon world, they will just kick down the door and start screaming eh, heavy metal. Uh. It through the halls. Well, considering it's a place full of anvils, I think heavy metal fits. That's fair. Yeah, that makes sense. I think they'd be into it. I mean, I think usually at this point, what the, where I continue to build things is where uh, you come in, basically as a, you would be like a self-insert spoon or something, trying to figure out how to survive this world. I can try that. I can come in as a spoon. Do I get a pet anvil? Did you breed with a pool noodle? <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I want a pet anvil, but I also really want to say no to that question. Can I just steal someone else's pet? Okay, so uh, you're a spoon and a thief. Got it. Yeah. Yes. I want to be a. S- no. No. I surely there are places where they'll buy. They'll sell their their pets, also known as their children. Okay, so an adoption agency uh, slash uh, pound? Yeah, I was about to say, it's probably more like a pound. Yeah, where I can go and buy myself uh, someone else's child to become my pet. And then I'll have a pet. That sounds so wrong. You created this world, not me. I stand by what I said when I say say that you helped. I want no credit for this world. But anyways, I'm going in and I'm going to buy myself a pet anvil. Um, so I'm assuming the main escalator is just a death trap? Uh, pretty much. I mean, it works, uh, you know, half the time. It's just until the elderly spoon with his uh, walker gets to the top and he starts moving too slow to get out of the way. But I can go on to, like... I, there's other paths. I can use other escalators to get around. Where do, what does living conditions look like? Like, where would I live? So you st- you're staying in your little hobble, the, you know, known as a uh, mud hut that's inside of this giant skyscraper. And they're set up in these... So we have this giant skyscraper with, like, magnetic walls and then mud <laughs> yes. huts inside yes. of them. Yes. And uh, these mud huts are arranged like a... Um, a honeycomb style setup. 
and to get on Every the. Every time I think I have an image of this building, it changes. And that you to get up <laughs> to the different like, nope. little honeycomb hexagons or whatever they are, you gotta scale a ladder. Good luck dragging your anvil up there. I thought the walls were magnetic, magnetic so we could just. Well, not here. The, this is this part of the world is made of mud. Uh, is it like dried mud yeah. or is it still it's sticky? Dry. Okay. That's good, I, I think, maybe. It's dried mud. Like, Can I make the walls sticky enough for my anvil to stick to it and then climb up? Make the walls sticky enough? What are you planning on doing? Pouring you know, like, water? Wall, like, I'm a, you know, I was going to wet up my the little... I, you take the little anvil and wet, like, wet up the bottom and then stick it to the wall and then like push it up the wall so we can get into the house. You wet the bottom of the anvil so that you can <laughs> stick it to the wall, then push it up the wall. Cause it's sticking to the mud Keep wall. It's a ba yeah, and then I push it up so it gets up and over, uh, and then we can enter into my little house. I'll have like, a, especially if I got one on like a lower floor, so the anvil's good. But I'm trying to figure out where you're pushing it because the the. The walls are odd, very oddly shaped. It's a, it's a honeycomb shape. We're just... Yeah, we're just going on an adventure, going up and down walls. Where are you climbing? To get to are you house. moving the ladder? I don't know. I just... I don't know. I don't know how... Look, I have a very poor vision of what this section is. Okay, so like. imagine a honeycomb. And inside each of these honeycombs is hollow. Yes. That, that's a home. And to get to up to each one, you yes. need to climb a ladder. Surely there's more than one ladder. Well, yeah, there, there's... Uh, it diff there's all a bunch of ladders lined up so that you could get into each home. Except for the poor people's ladders. But they live in the slums. And their ladders are broken. Wait, what are these ladders made out of? Popsicle sticks. But there's no trees. How are popsicles? Remember how made out um, of the witch up above has her, like her desserts and everything that she's making? One of those things is popsicles. And then when she's done yeah. with the popsicle sticks, she just throws them down into the building. Where's she getting the wood? Uh, she takes a knife and shaves it off of her broom. And where did the broom's wood come from? It grows back because it's magic. But where did it originate from? The great tree of wizardry. And where's that? A cloud. An upside down cloud. It's growing from uh, upside down from an upside down uh, uh, cloud, and that's where all the witches go to get their brooms made. So there is wood. There is just this is the source of wood in this building. Okay, just just wondering where it was coming from. Okay, anyways, back to the the task at hand, which is so. What do they have? So a lot of a lot of these guys have anvils as pets. How do I get the anvils? How do they get anvils into their honeycomb homes? Uh, tie a rope around them, th uh, fling them over their shoulders, and uh, try not to break your back while climbing up the ladder. <laughs> How do spoons climb ladders? Do they have limbs? No. Do we have limbs? It's Veggie Tales logic. Do we? Oh. Oh, in which case, yeah, we could carry an anvil with no problem. I witnessed a cucumber climbing up a massive flight of Dr. Seuss style stairs. Uh, while having a piano strapped to his back. So, yes. Cool. Uh, so what if, can spoons become witches? No. Different species. Can spoons get hold of magic? No. Can I try? You can try, I guess. You're gonna have to get to the top of the, uh, uh the, the grand, like, the prime escalator. Because that... Uh, is, is that the only way to yes, the witch? Yes, it goes all the way to the top. The problem is, a bunch of people want to get to the top, because a bunch of people want this magic, but every time they try, there's some old guy at the top who ruins everything. I mean, is there... so do the metal walls not go all the way to the top? Uh, there are some windows. Can I jump over the windows? No, the windows are glass, and they're all around, along this diagonal wall, so no. Okay, I have, I have an idea. So I have I have my little puppy anvil, right? I've got a really small okay. one, and I start climbing up the walls. Um, and so clearly, so you said so yourself. We have latches for our anvil pets to sling over our back, so that way we can climb ladders. Uh, that means I can use the latch 
like I can have a longer a latch, latch that's kind of like a rope. Don't know what it's. Yeah, like something that wraps around the anvil so we can put them on our backs and climb the ladders. We have them. Yeah, I was thinking just a rope. Yeah. Yeah, so we have ropes. So I can take my uh, extra long rope I've gotten a hold of, take my little baby anvil, and fling it across the window, still holding on to the rope. It lands on the other side and attaches to the metal again, and then I can swing my way up to the other side, and we can just do that. You have found a very creative Spider-Man method of, <laughs> of getting past this escalator. I have. I'm now at the top. I can meet the witch. Okay, so you've reached the top. <laughs> um, now you must get past the witch's doggy door. Which has so they also it has animals? Cerberus sticking his head through it. It has a three-headed anvil. It's not an anvil. This is just Cerberus. Oh, like a legitimate. Yes, yeah, a legitimate dog. If we can seduce anvils, can we seduce this dog too? Well, what do you plan to seduce it with? <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know how Cerberus works in this world. Well, he's very small. He's only about uh, oh. a foot tall. But he's uh, vicious. He's like, like a, a chihuahua. chihuahua. <laughs> Glad we're on the same page. Uh, can my anvil befriend the chihuahua? Uh, so Severus chihuahua? Severus chihuahua? Ying, I want to say no, but I want to say yes. <sighs> I think they could be friends. See, I'm gonna do this slowly. I I have time. I'm a spoon. I don't know how long we live, but I assume for a <laughs> while. Uh, so you know, I can have I can well, start scheduling play day. Well, you're certainly living longer than all the spoons that are currently tumbling down the escalator. That's fair. I'm smarter than them. <laughs> uh, so I can I can take the time for my my dog to become best friends with my my anvil to become best friends with the witch's dog uh, until eventually we get to the point where the dog just actually goes ahead and gives us an introduction to the witch. Like, it just, it wants the witch to meet its new best friend, and I get to come along because I'm the owner. Okay, so you've now met the witch, and the witch starts scolding you. Oh? Because how dare you get past this escalator before you let the elderly reach the top? This is why no one can reach the top. It's because they all have to be polite and let the elderly go first. But then the elderly cause them all to tumble down. And now she's very upset with you for not letting the elderly spoon get up there first. So, this this witch who just flung a bunch of spoons and wood and, like, and popsicle sticks and cool noodles down there with no care in the world about what happens to them is upset with me for yes. using my youth to bypass I no actually I was being I was being polite you know why I was leaving the escalator for the older people I was getting out of the way I wasn't standing in the line to annoy them instead I took an alternative route that they would have been unable to take so that way they could take the one they needed if anything all the other young spoons are actually rude because they could take the same route I do and don't and that way all the elderly spoons could get up safely but you still got there first doesn't matter. My roots. Do you have any idea how many lifetimes these elderly spoons have been waiting to meet the witch? I assume quite a few because they keep falling down. Yes. Many. And yet you got here first. You saw the witch before anyone else. Uh, you know what? I'm going to tell the witch, hey, BRB, uh, and I'm going to uh, set up a <laughs> service where I will carry an elderly spoon on my back and swing them to the witch to visit, and I'm going to do that for a year. You're going to do that for a year? Or how, you know, for a while, until the witch is content that I've let enough elderly spoons in to also have a turn. Well, now she's just going to scream at you to stop, because the what? reason she's mad is it the idea wasn't <laughs> that she uh, was trying to be moral, make you, or have you be moral. The idea was that she's uh, th she's saying that you have to let the elderly go first because that's polite. But she knows that once the elderly reach the top of the escalator, they all start tumbling down. And the idea is that when they is that uh, this way she is left alone. 
she doesn't want company, which is what, uh, partially why she starts scolding you, not because she actually wants you to be polite, but she's just hiding the fact that she's uh, trying uh, to uh, just be, uh, be alone. But all these spoons want to meet her so they can get all these magical powers. But no, she doesn't want that. And so she has them all have the elderly go first so that she never has to see the spoons again. And now you are complicating everything for her. Well, uh, you know what? I will make an easy deal with her. I won't go down and start bringing the elderly spoons up to meet her. I will. I'll throw it in there. But I won't if she <laughs> allows me to learn how to use magic. Okay, so she, she screams and kicks and then snaps her broom in half that gives you uh, the part that she just snapped off, which turns into a br which grows into a broom itself. And then says, there, be on I your way. Fair enough. It's time to fly to the to the upside down <laughs> cloud with my anvil. He's still coming. I'm very attached to his anvil. His name's Spalorda. His name is what? Spalorda. That's what I'm naming the anvil. That's a good name for an anvil. You go to yeah. the upside down tree of magicness, and you find that it is blossoming. It's very beautiful. It's serene, even. It's the greatest part of this world. Nothing could ever go wrong here. Just be sure to avoid the acid rain that is currently falling from the cloud above it. Oh, that could complicate things. <laughs> I am metal. <laughs> so is my... So it's below Uh... uh and I also don't think acid does well with the broom. Um... Maybe... Maybe I have to go to another area and learn a way to avoid the acid first. Actually, I can look around. What are, like, the other witches doing to avoid the acid? Umbrellas. Do I need an umbrella? You need an umbrella. Can I go ask a witch at where she got her umbrella and if I can have one? Well, no, you have to go on this, uh, this quest if you want yeah. an umbrella. So you can go you can go and ask the, the witch for one. But the witches are just going to tell you that you have to go on this grand quest. Where first you must scale a mountain to find a bookshelf. And on this... More wood, sorry. Wood, yes. Uh, <laughs> Books are made out of wood. <laughs> so you then take this bookshelf and you're going to breed it with a lava lamp, and that's how you get get an umbrella. Where do I get a lava lamp? From the volcano of ice. What? The volcano of ice, guarded by the witch so of lightning. To... Oh, so I have to go annoy another witch until they give me a lava lamp. Yes. Well, I've already annoyed one. What's another one, right? I guess go, that's I'm go fair. Meet, I'm gonna go meet the witch of the lava and go get a lava lamp. How's that go? Um, <laughs> it goes fairly well. She th good. hurls a few lightning bolts at you, but you're made of metal. You just conduct it and you walk it off. Actually, I'm gonna shoot it back at her and say, don't try that anymore. You can shoot lightning? I didn't know spoons well, could, could shoot lightning. I can conduct the lightning, so when the lightning goes through me, I can then redirect where it goes out. I think you gotta, like, fling uh, fling it, like, just uh, quickly move your head forward like a catapult, because that's where, like, the head of the spoon is, and it shoots out a big lightning ball. Yeah, I don't care how it's done. I'm just pretty sure I can conduct lightning enough <laughs> to shoot it back at her and be like, okay, you want to try that again? I'm here for a lava lamp. Okay, so you go and you get your lava lamp, and you... You breed it with a bookshelf, and you get an umbrella. Can I now go and see the pretty cloud thing now? Yes. Also, the breeding mechanics in this world <laughs> are so dumb. I just want you to know that. Well, they're all different. Everything is its own, like, element. And uh, if two things are close on the periodic table... They will create mm -hmm. something very similar to both of them, but if it's the same thing, they will create something on the complete opposite end of the table. Also, what type of... This bookshelf uh, is very... Like, why is it breathing with so many different lava lamps? Um, is it taking because, the out of this? No, the, it's just because the, uh, the witches need umbrellas. Why can't he just... The bookshelf find its one true love lava lamp? And they just produce umbrellas. It operates on prey mantis logic, where the uh... <laughs> so you say the bookshelf <laughs> eats the lava lamp. Yes! yes. Is it okay? Okay. Well, now this changed. We gotta rescue the lava lamp from the bookshelf after I get my <gasps> umbrella. 
Well, no, I the, want my lava lamp. No, to eat. The, I'm taking the lava lamp. I want another pet. No, the the bookshelf needs to eat the lava lamp in order to have the umbrella because. Is it, the lava lamp living? I'm sorry for your loss. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will. I I rather not have an umbrella. I'm not sacrificing the lava lamp to the bookshelf. That's not happening. But like a prey mantis, and the lava lamp consents to it and is a okay. That doesn't make it okay. Well, I that doesn't make me feel better about it, though. Well, I you know what? What if I ask Lava Lamp? Would it rather be Eden or become my pet? And, like, join me and my pet, Anvil, on our adventures. Um, I think it depends on the Lava Lamp. I mean, you could go around and find a Lava Lamp that would rather join you. Well, no. Well, the, the goal here is, like, I need an umbrella, but also, I'm not... Well, is the umbrella sent to the end, actually? No, the umbrella is, is not sentient. It's like the light bulb. It's like the light bulb. Did you want a sentient umbrella? I like pets. But I thought you weren't getting the umbrella because you didn't want to sacrifice the lava lamp. Well, now I'm, like, even less wa willing to sacrifice the lava lamp because now I'm giving up a pet. The chance of having a pet for an umbrella that's just an umbrella. <laughs> That doesn't seem right. I'm literally, I'm killing something for the sake of a dead thing. Like, it's not, this is worse than the praying mantis rule. At least when the praying mantis eats the other praying mantis, they have, like, a gazillion children. Who will then possibly be eaten or eat their spouses. Yes, but there's more life being produced out I'm sacrificing a living thing to get a non-living thing in return. That's like people who like wear coats. It just... It's not... I don't like the idea. Uh, plus, I had an entire broom ride with this, this lava lamp. For all I know, we've bonded. That's... True. So I guess you don't get your umbrella then. No, we're gonna have to find a plan B. And the bookshelf remains hungry. Well, that's the bookshelf's problem. I, I, I don't know what to do at this point. I'm trying to think where else I could go to get... I need to steal an umbrella from a witch. This <gasps> is what's happening. You're going to steal from the witch? A witch. There's a bunch of them. Okay, so um, pick your target. We've got the lightning witch. We've got the gingerbread witch or the, the dessert witch. We've got the uh, grumpy witch. We've got the sweet old witch... Who likes to knit things? Um, actually, actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna ask around and see if there is a witch who no longer needs their umbrella. Like you know, they're over it. Uh, or we'll just lend me it. I only wanna. I just wanna see the magic place. I might not even stay. Or when I go there, maybe I'll find another way to get like an umbrella or something. So I just wanna loan a borrow an umbrella. I mean, the a magic place is just a tree. Yeah, and I just wanna see it. So I just need the umbrella to get there. Okay, so uh, you're you're gonna need to fight a witch for it because the, the witches they do, they're very attached to the umbrellas and they don't want to go on this whole quest to bring a lava lamp to the bookshelf to get another one. Well, I just well I don't want to I want to borrow it. Well, they're not gonna trust some random spoon, some random lowly spoon with a with their umbrella. Well, that means I have to like. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna go back to the dessert witch, right? And I'm gonna say, look. You're just gonna threaten her with elderly people until she gives you her umbrella? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. I just want to say I would like to borrow the umbrella. At this point, she has had her last straw with you. It's like she's <laughs> very annoyed. She's not taking any more of your threats. So she And she uh, doesn't want any company. So she grabs a hold of you, flings you down the escalator, knocking down all the elderly people along with you. Oh. And uh, <laughs> then starts um, pat patting mud onto the metal walls at the top so you can't fling your anvil back up there. I think, though, I've befriended a lava lamp at this point. And I think the lava <laughs> lamp would help me stop her. Okay, so... Because this lava lamp would otherwise have died. Okay, so how is the lava lamp going to help you stop the witch? What is the plan? I don't know. Is the lava lamp actual lava? Because it's been yes. in space out of the volcano, so I assume it is. It's an ice volcano, but yes! It is It is lava yeah. filled with ice shards. 
yeah, we're just going to full-out attack this witch. Honestly, this witch is terrible. She's not nice. She's cu- keeping all of the elderly people from getting to this really nice area that they want to get to. And I've had enough. I'm taking over. Yeah. Wh- <laughs> I don't like this witch. I feel okay killing this witch. You want to take over the skyscraper? Yes. You know what? That's fair at this point. <laughs> yeah. I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to use, with the help of my, my Anvil, who has befriended her dog, by the way, to be, like, the best of friends, and therefore I could turn her dog against her, too. And the lava lamp. Oh, no. Between between the four of us, I think I could we could take oh, it. And honestly, no. I could be at the point beforehand where I could start show. Actually, even before doing this, I could show the spoons my method of getting up and start bringing spoons up. And I can have the entire army of spoons behind, and pool noodles behind me. Well, you've got to... To take over this witch's area. You've got this method of getting up, but you got to get past all the mud now. I have a broom. You do have a broom now, don't you? Right. The witch yeah. forgot about that because I forgot about that. Yeah, so we're, the, I'm just going to start bringing the elderly up on the broom, and that lets the younger people use the escalator, and we're just going to flood it. Oh, no. Also, you know what a lava lamp can do? It can return the brick into the mud, like help me bake the mud off of the walls. So that way I can start helping people get up through using their pet anvils. So we'll have even more coming in through that way. Oh, no. <laughs> And we're taking over. <laughs> okay, so now you go and you knock on the door of the witch with your army of pool noodles, spoons, army. anvils, and a lava lamp. Anvils. Yes. And uh, I suppose... Whose name's Livia, by the way. I've given her a name, too. <laughs> Whose name's Olivia? No, just Livia. No way. Oh, Livia. Yep. And uh, uh, then you've also got Cerberus. Yes. And then, I suppose you lay waste to the witch. Yeah, whatever that looks like with a bunch of spoons and pool noodles and an anvil <laughs> attacking a witch. People can use their own imagination for that one. <laughs> <laughs> and we take over. And then okay. I'm, we're gonna. St- and then we're gonna start like a little government, and we're gonna start uh, voting people into office and planning things. And eventually, once I have all of that settled and the world's looking a bit better, and at peace, I can then take the one thing I actually wanted, uh, which is the witch's umbrella, and now I can go to the magic land. You realize this all started, this entire uprising started because you wanted an umbrella? Yeah. You did all of this for an umbrella. Well, you know, I've also helped helped my fellow people become better leaders and gain hold of a cool land in which they can do things. And she has her own broom, so now they have an unlimited wo- wood source because I leave them the other broom to work with. So now but they can start building the, things with more wood and stuff. But at the core of this, you wanted an yes. umbrella. Yeah. I don't see why this is confusing. Okay. Well, actually, <laughs> Isaac, Isaac, at the core of this, I wanted to become a witch. Ah. I've got the broom, I've got the umbrella, it's time to go to the magic tree thing, which other witches go to, to see if I can become an efficient, what else I need to become a full-blown witch. And it, well, it's a different species, so when you show up to the witch gathering, all the witches are going to look at you and be like, what the heck? They're going to be very confused, because the, you're the only one who's not a witch, it's just a spoon has somehow obtained the status of a witch. Yeah. And I'm going to be the first spoon to be a witch. And then, I, to be honest, I'm happy. I'm content with what I've done in this world. Goal completed. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> I I guess you've you've overthrown the witch. Just yeah, and then, watch out. And then, uh, whenever I need to, I can just go back to my, my, my spoon army and, you know, live, <laughs> live with Florada and Livia in a nice little house that I earned for freeing the spoons from forever being stuck on an escalator. Just, I guess, you just have to watch out for uh, the witch's sister, the Wicked Witch of the Northwest. We have, we're, we're out of time, Isaac. We are. <laughs> I also, I have a spoon army. So I'm uh, you, you could probably take on the witch. Uh-huh. 
I mean, you could you can now supply your entire spoon army with with brooms, with brooms, and you could probably it, it rule the entire world by taking out all of the witches, and we'll it will be governed by spoons. And free the lava lamps who are uh, destined to become eaten by a bookshelf. We'll free them first. The world will I'll now have an army be of, run by spoons. I'll have an army. Yeah, I'll have an army of spoons, poo noodles, anvils, and lava lamps. Dream come true. This world got so much better when you uh, became like the self-insert spoon. Yeah, it became like it. It felt a lot like doing like a D and D campaign, except without dice. Just kind of fun. Yes. Yeah. Hopefully, other people enjoyed it. But I think that's that's where we're gonna end it. I've taken over the world as I do. As a spoon. As a spoon. I can. Yeah. I'm. I feel like I'm more impressive as a spoon than as a person. But I will deal with that. Another time. So. <laughs> anyway, um, that was, <laughs> I think, a world. Possibly. It was a strange one. I had fun. Yeah, it was definitely fun. Yeah. Hopefully you guys had fun listening to it and were able to follow along with whatever the heck was happening. Uh, but next week, we'll build something a bit more sane for everyone. Uh, oh, we gotta fix this week. world. Oh, yeah, we do tend to do that. Yeah, we're going to make this world like a proper world next week. So, yeah, look we're, forward to that. Yeah, we're going to take it and we're going to try and we're going to take all this nonsense and try our best to turn it into a much more serious world. Uh possibly I have ideas, so I'm not populated by spoons. We'll find out. No, the spoons, the spoons are a core part of this. We can't we can't not have the spoons. But I think I have ideas of like how we can fix like the magic system and stuff. So, it'll be fun. Uh but I don't know how week. we're going to fix this one. We'll figure it We've out got though. This. We've got a week to think about it. But actually, yeah. So we will see you guys then. Uh, yeah, bye. Bye. <laughs>